Uh, good day, everyone. This is a tutorial on how to mod, how to export first off, and uh, how to export the big files in PlayStation 3, Skate 3, and then how to export the um, PSG textures, uh, and then also how to mod them and uh, how to put them back in the uh, RX, sorry, the PSG files. So, yeah. Uh, so, this is how you do it. And, uh, yeah. So, you're going to need Quick BMS with the um, Skate 3 uh, BMS script. And I'll provide these in the description. Um, then, you'll need to start Quick BMS for GB files. Double click it. Um, now, find the script, and it's right here, or right here for me, <laughs> whatever. Uh, double click the script. Now, it will prompt you select input archives. So, what you do is you go to the um, your game. So, right here, I have the game, um, Skate 3. NTSC, uh, jailbreak, whatever, USA. So uh, you'll go into this folder right here. Blue, blues, and then uh, 30464, whatever it's called for you. And then PS3 game, user directory, data. Then you go to content. And in here, uh, the files that we can modify right now are um, let me let me think here. I think it's Park Assets, it's Marquee, it's Living World, and Create a Character. So, uh, what you are going to have to do is, I think also these two, but I'm not sure. So, I'm just going to do these two for now, or really these four. So, these right here, you mar um, basically uh, mark them, or whatever it's called. You um, highlight them, and then... Um, you click open. Then you're gonna need to make a folder in the content folder or wh wherever you want. Call it output. Um, I already have one here. Let's let's delete what's in here. This might just take. Okay, so go to the output folder that you make hit save. That will now export all the uh, the files here. Okay. From those big archives. They're not very big, but they're called, you know, the file format is, or the archive format is big. It's called big, so yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so we'll just let this uh, unpack the uh, the archive here. Shouldn't take too long. Man, there is a lot of files actually. There, I know that in the, just these, there's like seven, eight thousand textures. So there's a lot of textures you can modify. Um, there is no level modding yet because the formats are different, and I haven't figured them out yet. So yeah, until then, this is what we have. But this is good enough for me, for now. <laughs> it's more than good enough. Oh boy. Yeah, there is a lot of them. There is a lot of textures. <laughs> Holy pie. Are you serious? Let's see.
Okay, so it's almost it's on it's almost done here. Now we're just on the static, I think, and that's and that's the last one. Static and dynamic, and then it should be done. Yes, there it is. When you see this, you just click enter. And now you'll be left with, if you go to output, you'll be left with this data, content, and then these folders. And in here you'll have model, fi model files, right? You'll have uh, texture files. You'll have, you know, that in all these folders, right? In here you'll have some other stuff that you don't need to worry about in recipe, but in static you'll have the same, and in vehicle you'll have the same. So these are all just texture stuff. These are the s this is the stuff that we can modify for now. So what you're gonna have to do now is you're gonna have to make a folder in your game folder that you call backup. Okay, now we wanna take the big files from everything that we extracted, so these four, Create a character, living world, marquee, and park assets. You want to drag and drop them into backup so you don't have them in this folder. Okay. What you want to do then is you want to go to output, then you want to um, cut this or copy it, whatever you want, but you can just cut it. Cut the data folder and then go back to data and then go back one more time until you see the data in the user directory. Then you paste it in here. That will now morph them together and put all the files in the right place. So if you go in here now, you'll see content, and now you'll see the new folders in here. Living world, marquee, all these, all these folders, okay? So what your game will do now is it will run uh, the game off of these unpacked files instead of the big file. And if it doesn't, load your mods that you make later. Um, it might be because it's loading from this folder still. So then you're just gonna have to move them away from the game basically to another folder. <laughs> but it should work like this. I have run it like this before. Okay, now that we have the files ready to be played by the game and read by the game like this, now we wanna mod them. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we find a file that we want to modify and I'll go to Marquee, Texture, and I'll just find a file. I want this file, right here. Okay, or any, any one of these files. I'll click up here, Control C. Now you wanna go into Noesis. And I'll have Noesis with my scripts available in it um, in the description. So all you have to do is unpack it, Noesis, and run, the, run it and then you'll be able to launch these files or whatever you want to call it. So what you want to do now is find one of the files here, okay? So, oh yeah, that's true. Um, user directory, so let's see. Let's go to that folder. It should be, okay, it should be somewhere here. Here we go. Um, and now we should be able to find it right there. And we'll go into user directory, data, content, then we'll go to marquee and texture. Okay. And that right there will now load the PSG files in here. And if you click on it, It'll say EA P Skate 3 PSG 1.3, or sorry, 1.0 PS3. That is my script, recognizing the texture format. So all you have to do now is find a file and double click it, like this. Okay, so these are shoes. If you wanna mod shoes, if you wanna see these more clearly, by the way, what you can do is you can go into view, set background color, set it to black. And then set background color two also to black. Okay. If you do this, you'll be able to see it, I guess, a little bit more clearly on a, f on a couple textures. Um, I guess not all of them, but 
it's it's up to you what what color you want the view in. So let's see something like this. Um, so let's say I want to modify uh, this board right here. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to take this board. Okay. We need to hit export, and we want to export this um, this board. So. Uh, what we can do here is we can hit browse and we can make a folder somewhere. Um, I guess let's make it. Let's go to where we have the files. Let's make a folder called um, extracted modded or something. And let's save it in here. So let's save it as board one, hit save. And then you want to main output type, want to be, you want that to be DDS, okay? And then you hit export, export complete. Hit okay. Now you can close that. Now you want to go into the folder that you made. You'll see the DDS file. Okay. And so, what I will do now is I will show you um, how similar these file formats are <laughs> and how to modify them. So this is a DDS file, okay? Um, if you want to know what type of DDS it is, you open it up into a hex editor and it will tell you, it will tell you it's a DXT5. It's a DDS DXT5, okay? So, what uh, you can do now is you can compare it with the original file, which I'll find here in a second. Um, let's see. There, there it is. Open in Explorer. So, if you want to compare it, you open them up like that. And then we'll do full screen. So. The DDS file starts at offset 80 and goes to the last offset here. So this is 55570 long. On the PSG file, the texture itself starts at offset 248, right there. And then it goes on until the end. And that is also 55570 long, you see? And if you look at um, what they actually look like, by scrolling like this, it looks like they're different, but that's because they start on a different offset. So if you want to see that they're how uh, similar they really are, all you have to do is create two new files, go in here and copy the board file from the DDS, and also copy the board file from the PSG. Now, go all the way to the top on both files, like that, and click between them. They are the exact same. <laughs> So it is in the PSG file, it is literally just a DDS file with a uh, renderware um, a renderware header. So to modify this is really, really easy. All we have to do now is go to the DDS file that we exported, open it in our preferably in paint.net because um, it's really easy to export to the correct format with that. Um, what we do in here is we want to mod this texture. Um, I know though that if you open this up in uh, Photoshop, you will be able to see it. Like you'll be able to see it way better, um, way more clearly. I think though that you can create a layer and layer it like that, and it should be easier to see what's going on. Um, let's see if we can do something. So let's highlight this. Let's make it a color to where we can see things a little bit more clearly. Um, yeah, it really is difficult to see everything clearly. Um, sadly. Hmm. Yeah, if you have Photoshop and you have the NVIDIA DDS plugin, you can use that, but I don't feel like I need it. Uh, I feel like just having it like that 
or whatever. I can see where the board is. I can see where the graphics are uh, and such. It's it's faint, but I can see it. So, okay. <clears throat> so what you want to do now is you want to modify it. You want to put some sort of text on it, some sort of a graphic, a new board, anything you want. So I'm going to type, I'm going to make some text on here, say GH fear. Of course, it's um, the wrong color here. So GH fear. Here we go. And then you hit save. And now, since we know that when we check here in the hex editor, we can see that this DDS file is a DXT5, right? Since we know that, we can go in here, we can save as DDS, and we will call it board1 um, modded dot DDS. Hit save. Then it will ask you if you want MIP maps, if you want to generate MIP maps, or not. It'll also ask you here what format you want. So what you can do here is if it's if it says it's a DXT1, you choose that. If it says DXT3, you choose that. And if it says DXT5, as it did now, you choose that. Then you hit OK, flatten, and it'll save. Uh, what you can do now, though, is you can press Control Z, Z, and it'll give you back the layers, but still save the file. So here we have the modded file. So let's compare the file sizes. You see, the file sizes are the the exact same. Okay, so if we open this up and the editor here, the data will look completely different, but the file size is exactly the same. So if we select the data right there and right there, it should be 55570 long. In the exact same header, exact same format. Um, so yeah, uh, so now if we want to modify this PSG file, and put this modified texture in there. All you do is you select from in the a DDS file, the modded DDS file, or the edited DDS file. You go from offset 80 to the absolute end. You copy that. You go to the PSG file, and you find offset 248. Okay, there will be an 08, and then there will be whatever, whatever. But it should be 248 offset. You see, if you click somewhere else, it'll change. Right here is 248. Then you go all the way to the end. You highlight it. You click Delete. Now you click Control V and paste in the DDS file from here, um, the texture data. Now you hit Save. I'm not going to do that, though, because I don't have any backup of these files, I guess. So, But yeah, then you hit Save, and that's it. That is a modified uh, PSG file and it will now look different in the game. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is how you do it. If it were a DXT1 file, all you would have to do is when you click Save, you go to DDS, and then you select DXT1 instead. And uh, remember to generate mid-maps and select Fans uh, in here. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I guess if there is an error with anything, uh, try different um, map, map settings here, but this should work. So, so yeah, it's pretty easy. All you have to do now is launch the game with the modified PSG file, and uh, it will show you your new texture in-game, because it will now run the game off of the unpacked files. Um... That's about it for today, I guess. That's how to modify uh, PlayStation 3 texture files. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, peace out. <laughs>